Stealthy and I'm doing my Stitch Mania plans. Um, so for Stitch Mania, uh, anyone who's, who doesn't know what it is, I'll put a link below. I'll put a link to the group as well. Um, they do other monthly Stitch Alongs and events and stuff. It's not just Stitch Mania now. Um, so that'll be below. But Stitch Mania is where you go a little crazy and start a bunch of cross stitch projects. Basically. Um, so this month, oh for May, anyway, um, I'm only going to do 15 starts, possibly. Um, <laughs> if I if I feel the need to do some more starts, I'm going to. Um, but I'm going to go through what I'm going to start. I'm going to show you how I'm going to organize it and um, go from there, basically. So, um, what should I start with? I totally lost my train of thought. Um, I'll start with how I've got it set up. So I printed out a little calendar box and I just filled in the dates um, and what I'm going to do. So as you can say, see, um, every second day is a new start, every other day is a whip. So that's how I'm going to do it, is I'm going to work on different whips um, and then that way I might get some of my previous Stitch Mania starts finished um, and the projects that I'm going to be starting this month for Mania are only going to be small kit ones unless I really feel like starting something different. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy because I've got a lot going on right now. So, you know, like house hunting, I'm studying again, I'm going to be doing volunteer work at two different places, four days a week, and it's just going to get kind of crazy. So just small kit projects um, that I have a whole drawer full of. So, you know, there's no shortage. Um, there's going to be a show of um, my new starts, the planned new starts. Um, there are a few in there that are possible new starts as well, if maybe, like, I finish one or something like that. And um, my, I'll put my whips and stuff in there too. Um, there won't be super updated photos because I just don't have time to pull out all my whips and go through. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through more of my organization stuff. So the reason I printed it out like this and I've just sticky taped it on front of my folder. Um, I'm going to show this. Oh, yeah, you can't really see. Um, so on the inside of my folder, I have my, um, stitchy tracking thing that I have made up. Um, that's on that page and the other one is on the other page. It's only got two projects on it. So, um, and inside I have, let's see, these are all just the patterns and stuff, but inside I've got all the patterns and in some cases the floss and stuff and the ADA is in some of them as well. If it's a small one, um, like there, um, that's a Sumer Street, that's a whip. Um, so what I've done is, why don't we do it without showing the patterns? I didn't think this through. Um, so these are mostly whips and stuff in this one. These are existing projects. Um, and then I have a second folder, which is all the working copies for um, Stitch Mania, basically. Um, actually, no, those ones are whips. But, yeah, like I've, I've done it so that they're on, some of the small ones are like, two or three on a page, um, just to save paper and ink. But back to the little calendar that I've set up, the way that I'm going to do it is um, using the same colour scheme that I use for my normal stitching tracking. I need to get much better sticky tape. Stay on there please. So my normal stitching tracking, what I've done is you've got the name of the project, um, a red means that I have finished it, a blue means that it is a new start, and a green means that I've done 100 stitches on it. As you can see I haven't filled in any for April yet just because I haven't done, I've, I've done stitching and I've got to fill in a few but I just haven't got around to actually doing it yet. Um, and I don't have, I had two pencils put aside specifically for this, now they've gone missing. Anyway, I'll just use these ones. Alright, so um, for this calendar, um, I'm going to assume that on e each day that I make a new start, that I'm going to be making a new start. I'm not going to mark that I've started something. 
Um, I'm going to mark if I do 100 stitches on it and don't finish it. And I'm going to mark if I finish it. Um, and then I've got spaces to write down what whip I do. And then I can mark if I do 100 stitches on that as well. Um, and then transfer it to the other thing. So the idea is, um, so again, blue is new start. Green is 100 stitches. And red is finished. So I'm just going to do this off camera because it's really difficult. But what I'm going to do is for 100 stitches, I'm going to, it's a pain in the ass actually, um, I'm going to colour in half the thingy square if I do 100 stitches. This goes for the whips as well because I might actually finish some of my other whips. So, you want to leave space just in case. So that's going to say, hey, I've done 100 stitches on that whip or that new start, whatever. And if I finish it, then the other half will be coloured in red to say that I finished it. And then that way, I'm keeping track of what I'm stitching without having to fill it into multiple places and stuff like that. Because I've also been using the X-Stitch app um, to keep track of um, some of the projects for this year. So I'll probably input the data into there as well so that at the end of the year I can be like, look at all these things that I finished, even though they're like this big, I still finished them. Um, so yeah, that's how it's going to work basically. Except I'm going to do it with pencil, not with pen, so I can still see the pen through it. Um, the other thing is where I've got my new starts, they're written in, in pencil at the moment, um, and that is just in case I change my mind or if I decide, no, you know, I don't want to start that particular one today, I'm going to start this other one today. Um, this is for flexibility reasons. If I lock myself down into set things, I never do it, so that's not going to happen. Um, but I'm going to add in the photos of the starts. They are, like I said, they're mostly small kits, um, things from like magazines and stuff like that that I've just got floating around, you know. I've got a drawer full of them. Um, the biggest one that I'm probably going to start is a Dimensions kit, um, which you'll see. And yeah, and then and then that way if I decide that I want to start something else, maybe something bigger, I've got the freedom to do so, um, but I'm still doing minimum 15 starts. So yeah, these are my Stitch Mania plans. All the links will be below. Enjoy the slidey show part. I'll put some music to it so it won't be incredibly boring. Um, and I will see you guys later. I don't know why I looked over that.